Hi and welcome to our show Live Action. I'm Lee Ashrivi and Pooja Pandey is actually one of the most spacious family sedans available in the market today. This is the 2016 Chevrolet Impala V6. നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ ഈ സെഗ്മെൻറ്റിൽ ഏറ്റവും സ്പേസ് കൂടിയ വണ്ടിയാണ് ഷെവർലേഡ് ഇമ്പാല ഇത് ഔട്ട് ഗോയിങ് മോഡൽ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഷെവർലേഡ് കപ്രീസിനെയാണ് ഈ വണ്ടി റീപ്ലേസ് ചെയ്തത് സ്പേഷ്യസ്നെസ് നല്ലപോലെ ആവശ്യമുള്ള ആൾക്കാർക്ക് അതും ഒരു ഫാമിലി സിഡാൻ അതായത് എസ് യു ബി സൈഡിലോട്ട് പോകാതെ സിഡാനിൽ തന്നെ സ്പേഷ്യസ്നെസ്സും നല്ലൊരു പ്രൈസിൽ അഫോർഡബിൾ പ്രൈസിൽ ഒരു വണ്ടി നോക്കുന്ന ആൾക്കാർക്ക് ദിസ് ഇസ് എ വെരി ഗുഡ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ഷെവലേഡ് കാപ്രീസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ആ ഒരു സെഗ്മെൻറ്റിലെ വണ്ടി ആക്ച്വലി ഡിസ്കണ്ടിന്യൂ ചെയ്തു കാരണം ആ വണ്ടി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ആക്ച്വലി റീപ്ലേസ്മെൻറ്റ് ഓർ സബ്സ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഫോർ പീപ്പിൾ ഹു ഗുഡ് നോട്ട് അഫോർഡ് എസ് ക്ലാസ് ഓർ ബി എം ഡബ്ല്യു സെവൻ സീരീസ് അപ്പം അത്രയും പവറും പെർഫോമൻസും ഒരു അഫോർഡബിൾ പ്രൈസിൽ കൊടുത്തുകൊണ്ടിരുന്ന വണ്ടിയായിരുന്നു കാപ്രീസ് ബട്ട് ഓവർ ടൈം ആ ഒരു സെഗ്മെൻറ്റിനെയും അവർ ഒന്ന് ഫെയ്ഡ് ഔട്ട് ചെയ്തിട്ട് സംതിങ് മച്ച് മോർ അഫോർഡബിൾ ആൻഡ് മോർ പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽ അതായത് ഇതിൻ്റെ മേജർ ഡിഫറൻസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ആ വണ്ടിയുടെ ഷെവല കപ്രീസിൻ്റെ മേജർ ക്യാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക് എന്തായിരുന്നു എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഇറ്റ് വാസ് മോർ ഓഫ് എ മസിൽ കാർ കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് ഫീൽ അമേരിക്കൻ മസിൽ കാർസിൻ്റെ ഒരു അഗ്രഷൻ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അതിൻ്റെ അകത്ത് ആൻഡ് മോർ ഓവർ ഇറ്റ് വാസ് എ റിയ വീൽ ഡ്രൈവ് കാർ ഷെവലയുടെ ഈ വണ്ടി അതായത് ഇമ്പാല ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് അഗ്രസീവ് അറ്റ് ഓൾ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ വെരി സട്ടിൽ ആൻഡ് ഈസി ഡ്രൈവിംഗ് മെഷീൻ അത് മാത്രമല്ല ഇത് അവർ മാറ്റി ഇത് ഫ്രണ്ട് വീൽ ഡ്രൈവ് ആക്കുകയും ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് Now the advantage of having a front wheel drive car is uh, generally parayava anengile fuel consumption is uh, much more it's better it's more efficient uh, and uh, the other thing is vandi uh, kavathulla space kudal optimize cheyan pattum especially in the rear row nalla ee vandi illada as a it's actually a good example because the caprice went to open by like even if you look at its competitors which have wheel drive uh, layouts like the Dodge Charger or the Chrysler 300 and I got to have a rear space to put the front wheel drive so that is one advantage of having a front wheel drive uh, system മറ്റൊരു അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ വെൻ ഇറ്റ് കംസ് ടു സ്ലിപ്പറി റോഡ് കണ്ടീഷൻസ് ഇപ്പോഴത്തെ എല്ലാ വണ്ടികളിലും ട്രാക്ഷൻ സിസ്റ്റവും പിന്നെ സ്റ്റെബിലിറ്റി കൺട്രോൾ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഗോട്ട് ഓൾ ഓഫ് ദോസ് ഗാജറ്റ് ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ബട്ട് ഒരു ഫ്രം എ പ്യുർലി ഫിസിക്സ് പോയിന്റ് ഓഫ് വ്യൂ ഒരു റീ വീൽ ഡ്രൈവ് കാർ അതായത് നല്ലൊരു കൺട്രോൾ ഇല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഡിസ്കൗണ്ടിങ് ദ ഫാക്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് സ്റ്റെബിലിറ്റി നോക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ in slippery road conditions unless you really know how to handle your car it's uh, it's not very advisable to have a very powerful rear wheel drive car front wheel drive cars in their ah carrier their advantage is no and there's more directional stability especially in slippery conditions and uh, let's say you're not a very expert uh, driver who can drive fast or any of that apam korchudu you know the car kind of is more composed in that matter ഫ്രണ്ട് വീൽ ഡ്രൈവ് വണ്ടികളുടെ ഒരു വേറൊരു ഡിസഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് പറയുകയാണെങ്കിൽ എഞ്ചിനിൽ നിന്നുള്ള പവർ പോകുന്നത് ഫ്രണ്ട് ആക്സിലോട്ടാണ് സോ ബേസിക്കലി യുവർ ഫ്രണ്ട് വീൽസ് ആ പവർ അപ്പോൾ ആ സ്റ്റിയറിങ്ങും കണക്ട് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് ഫ്രണ്ട് ആക്സിലോട്ടാണ് സോ സ്റ്റിയറിങ്ങിൻ്റെ യുനോ കൺട്രോളും വരുന്നുണ്ട് അതിൻ്റെ അകത്ത് എഞ്ചിൽ നിന്നുള്ള പവറും അതിലോട്ടാണ് പോകുന്നത് സോ യു ഹാവ് പവർ ബീ ഗിവൺ കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി ഹൺഡ്രഡ് പെർസെൻറ്റ് ടു എൻ ആക്സിൽ വിച്ച് ഓൾസോ നീഡ്സ് ടു കൺട്രോൾ ഡയറക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ കാർ സോ അങ്ങനെ വരുമ്പോഴത്തേക്ക് ഈ ടോക്ക് സ്റ്റിയർ ബിക്കംസ് എ ലിറ്റിൽ ഡിഫിക്കൾട്ട് ടു കൺട്രോൾ എസ്പെഷ്യലി കുറച്ച് ഒരു പവർഫുൾ എഞ്ചിനും കൂടെ ആണെങ്കിൽ എഞ്ചിൻ്റെ പവർ മൊത്തം അതിലോട്ട് പോകും ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ദ സ്റ്റിയറിങ് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് 
you know has to work a lot to keep it under control but uh, modern material uh, i mean the effects of cost talk steer and all of this under steering adu nalla pole optimize cheyidukkunnundu so you don't really feel uh, you know the effects like you used to feel like 10 15 years ago front wheel drive material but still uh, there is that uh, slight pull on the steering especially you uh, when you're trying to enter a road and you're waiting and then you know or angle lot of care to but they can it's a Uh, you have that pull on the steering which is almost you know it, you don't feel that at all on a rear wheel drive car all wheel drive cars like you feel that to a very slight extent and the the good part is that it's a good car to upgrade to from you know something like a Toyota Camry or a Honda Accord let's say uh, you know a sedan is a better car you know kind of you like your Camry but you need something with little more power and for sure the space and little bundle of power like this is a very good car to upgrade to in a price which no problem it's not uh, exorbitantly high you getting a good even deal with it's a 3.6 uh, liter v6 engine and uh, it gives you more than enough power that you need for most of your you know regular driving purposes uh, highway landing in sherry city driving landing uh, you know there's enough torque and punch in the engine to you know meet all your demands it's a, it's not a sporty car it this is more of a family sedan adond and idinde dynamics um ellam adinu vendi orient cheyidu vechirukkaru now if you compare it to a car like the uh, dodge charger or the chrysler 300 adu vittu nokkumbe think because those are real drive cars you can use it as a family sedan and also have a little bit of fun with it you know especially for three turns or color like say mountain roads and all of that you know if we, there's a lot more fun factor given to them this is more of a utility car you know space and you know it's fuel efficient all of those things put together it's more value for money i would say chevrolet vandiyal de where advantage nu varnjala ee front wheel drive system alla vandiyal de it's it's got one of the best suspensions also al matra le vandi le you know it's it's much lighter than the other cars in its segment so given that you know lesser weight combined with uh, good suspension and uh, good front wheel drive uh, the handling is is pretty good um, you don't feel that uh, you know it lacks in the handling department although that the part of the fun factor is a little low but the baki characteristics all match no ki ee vandi da intended you know customers in the angle match no ko anagil it's it's a very sensible car to buy and uh, the best part is the the amount of space that's given in this car you know especially in the second uh, row i mean there's lots of like uh, three adults can sit very very comfortably at the back driving position which is no comfortable you know this car is very comfortable like i said earlier it's a very easy driving car ottum effort vendi ee vandi although it's a very large car uh, it drives very effortlessly and the electric steering also it's it's, it's very well optimized
interiors and the build quality no fun angle the car has a very uh, fancy look to it it's kind of like a blend between the old american uh, approach to interior design and uh, a bit of modernity with all this gadgets and the screen about it's a blend it's not very beautiful to look at but it's functional and uh, it, it takes you back in time a little bit uh build in the quality no fun angle there's a mix of leather and uh, plastic some parts are like hard plastic above uh, you know although it does feel a lot uh, plasticky you know, it's, it's it's designed well so you don't feel anything missing it's impressive on the first look namla vandikat keri irukkunnadha it's a very you know appealing layout to start with uh even the dashboard controls ellam layout ellam it's, it's very easy to use everything is within reach and uh, it's it's well uh, well laid out uh, dashboard la kodutirikkina infotainment screen it's something that slides up and down and a portable storage compartment on and there's a usb connector also if you want a phone charge if you want to keep it inside you know without any distractions just open that up and put it in அது கூட தான் ரெண்டு யூஎஸ்பி ஸ்லாட்ஸ் அந்த ஸ்ட்ரீம் கொடுத்துட்டு அண்ட் தேர்ஸ் அ பவர் சாக்கெட் அட் த பேக் ஆல்சோ ஏசி பவர் சாக்கெட் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் தே தாட் ஆஃப் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் எவ்ரி திங் வென் இட் கம்ஸ் டு கேஜெட்ரி இன் திஸ் கார் ஸ்டியரிங் வீலில் தானே ப்ரைமரி கண்ட்ரோல்ஸ் எல்லாம் கொடுத்துட்டு அட் த பேக் ஆஃப் த ஸ்டியரிங் வீல் ஆல்சோ தேர் இஸ் கண்ட்ரோல்ஸ் வால்யூம் பட்டன்ஸும் ஆடியோட ட்ராக் சேஞ்சஸ் எல்லாம் ஸ்டியரிங் த பொறையில் அங்கே கொடுத்துட்டு காட் யோர் க்ரூஸ் கண்ட்ரோல் அண்ட் யோர் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட் டிஸ்பிளே கண்ட்ரோல்ஸ் ஆன் த ஃப்ரண்ட் ஆஃப் த ஸ்டியரிங் battle shifters for the delay one deal and uh, i think it's a very smart move because why do you need battle shifters for a car like this this is a very easy driving family car like we said so you really don't need it கொறச்சொரு ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் மோட்லி வண்டி ஓடிக்கணுங்கில் இட்ஸ் காட் அண்ட் எம் மோட் அண்ட் இது சிக்ஸ் ஸ்பீட் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக் ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் ஆகும் அண்ட் தி கியர் ஷிஃப்டர்ஸ் ஆர் ஆன் டாப் ஆஃப் த லீவர் இட் செல்ஃப் ஸோ ஜஸ்ட் இன் கேஸ் யூ வாண்ட் டு ஹாவ் அ லிட்டில் பெட் ஆஃப் ஃபன் வித் இட் அட் செல் இ வண்டியில் ஸ்டெபிலிட்டி அண்ட் ட்ராக்ஷன் கண்ட்ரோல் ஆஃப் செய்யணும்ல ப்ரொவிஷன் கொடுத்துட்டு பட் அகேன் திஸ் இஸ் அனதர் ஆஸ்பெக்ட் தட் comes into play when a car is front wheel drive versus rear wheel drive or front wheel drive and deal you really don't uh, get much out of switching off your traction control car num traction control switch off chamber take it just makes your front axle you know less control and it doesn't add any fun to the car either or rear wheel drive and deal traction control off chamber take you know rear axle got to lose out so you can have a little bit of fun with it cuz a uh, wanted aggressive nature code in a front wheel drive car switching it off just you know makes it more annoying so which is why you know there would be no point in switching off the traction of this car and playing around this it's just irritating there's no fun with it highway driving is one of the key aspects about this car you know? i mean this is one reason why anybody should consider this car in the first place kanam highways it's, it's a very you know, smooth and I mean, the cabin noise is also very low nalla uh, comfortable ride aanu and uh, the seats are also very supportive lumbar support kodutundu uh, and if you are a little tall also the seat at the bottom it's got support almost up to your knees so it's a very you know luxurious kind of ride
And the good part is that you're getting all of this for, you know, at a very affordable price. You don't have to, you know, pay the price of a premium sedan to own this. Padana ye vande do, you know, primary advantage. Boot space, there's there's a lot of boot space in this car actually. Uh, in its class, it's got the highest. And uh, again, all of these things add to the utility part of this car more than you know fun or aggression or anything. I don't think Caprice nor the Bandi either replaced Chedang Lim. It's replaced it in a completely different segment. I mean, it's got the same kind of size, the same kind of room, and all of that. But other than a focus point, so you you've got the utility part of the uh, Chevrolet Caprice, and uh, you've given up on the power. And Wheel drive and all of that muscle features that American cars usually have. So basically, this car has become more Japanese or more, you know, how to angle lot on it. Shebe, the Impala which is point to level. You you don't really feel that you're driving an American car. You know, those of like 20 years ago or 15 years ago. This feels very Japanese. So, well, yeah, Japanese one day or two, then they have to. And uh, because of this approach to motoring, also American cars compared to what they were before, you know, the reliability and all of that has gone up. And there are a lot more people who are now opting to buy large cars because fuel efficiency has gone up again, and so has the reliability. So instead of just sticking to Japanese cars, you know, you've got much more options, and the Impala is a very good option actually in family sedans. Even deal a panoramic style sunroof on a quarter tall. Again, it's got that bar in the center, so it's not one piece of glass. Uh, front part on a tilt and slide all over. The rear part is as it is. Again, this is something that we see in most of the cars these days. And uh, from near the roof, all the other one, you already can see you kind of feel that there's something missing. So yeah, it's it's time that people have started taking such kind of glass roofs as. You know, as a standard feature. Gadgetry, the car in Parayvana. This car has, uh, you know, it's got a very minimum amount of gadgetry. It's got an infotainment system. It's got all your safety features, and you know, that's about it. Uh, all the other three extra additional features like you know perpendicular, parallel, parking assist, uh, lane change, control, all of that. None of that is there. This is a car that you know goes from point A to point B and carries a lot of people and cargo. I mean that's the whole intent of this car. There's nothing very fancy about it. Although within the looks in a car in Parayvan English. It's a very fresh approach to exterior design. Uh, it's bundled uh, front with the Chinook and English, a Chevrolet, a Camaro, and your cherry design elements. And yet, it's also managed to look like a sedan. Uh, real bundled a real design for a one and it's it's very subtle. So uh, the car doesn't look as uh, you know aggressive. As most people would like it, but it's a very subtle-looking car, and it's not something that you know makes you go wow. You know, size is one thing. One day, car number one, another bell point, especially front-wheel drive system. I don't know. From this part till the end of the car, you know, it's kind of very big.
visibility is also something uh, that's impressive about this car. Although it's very big, uh, it's very easy to maneuver, and uh, you know the windows are big. You can see all around with these. It's a very, like I said many times in this review, it's a very easy car to drive. Where on another feature we wonder all is that uh, it's got uh, ventilated seats. At least another another option, I know. Especially in, when you've got leather seats, which kind of heat up very fast. Especially when you park it out in the sun and all of that. Ventilated seats very much they get cools up much faster. Within the zero to hundred acceleration, the petty part around like it's. It doesn't feel very quick, although uh, the 3.6 liter engine is quite responsive. But the car doesn't feel as you know sportly quick. Uh, it's, it's, it takes its time, uh, but braking is very efficient. Nalla belly brakes are good. Nalla matra nalla. If until standard right, we have the tires and couch extra vidhi under. So obviously your handling and braking and all of that is enhanced simply because of these uh, physical aspects of the car. So you've got a basically a very you know weight optimized car with large tires and good brakes and a above average uh, power roller engine. So uh, that package makes this whole car's uh, you know maneuverability and handling very pleasing. Our front wheel drive under the limitations are not very obvious on this car, except for that torque steer which you will feel. It's inevitable. the top steer because the way front wheel drive cars are designed other it has to be the thanks for watching we'll see you next week with yet another car and yet another adventure Thank you.